Well, David Kesterton is the Aerial Survey Manager for the Royal Commission on the Ancient and Historical Monuments of Scotland. Who better to talk to us? He joins us now from our Edinburgh studio. Thanks for joining us. Tell us what you think you've found. Well, if I can just correct you on who I am, I'm actually Dave Cowley, but uh, all the rest of your details are correct. Um, what we found is a, a small lagoon connected to the sea by uh, a small canal, uh, which uh, our uh, partner uh, in this, Dr. Colin Martin from the University of St. Andrews and the Morven Maritime Centre has done some diving on and has discovered uh, bits of a boat, which as you say, have produced a 12th century uh, date from. Which is a fantastic discovery, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, this has been uh, in folklore and antiquarian uh, references as a Viking canal and it, it's one of those attributions uh, that comes through uh, popularly and has no real uh, basis in fact. But what Collins managed to do is to establish that actually we're only a few hundred years off the Viking period with the remains of this boat. And his uh, detailed uh, ground observation and diving work has also helped to support the suggestion that um, this site's been in use for very much longer, actually, potentially taking us back to two and a half thousand years. Which is quite, is that quite a significant discovery, do you think? Yeah, there's, there's an assumption that people are travelling around in boats, uh, uh, particularly in areas like the west coast of, of Scotland, uh, for long periods of time. But the actual evidence that supports this is uh, really very, very uh, scanty. And what we're seeing here is uh, the first glimpses of uh, the shipyards, uh, the, the boatyards, that would have supported really quite an extensive maritime network uh, that was uh, applying the western uh, seaways essentially as the, uh, the motorways, the superhighways of the time. And they would what, be harbouring their ships there because it was safe or what would they have been doing? I, I think a combination of harbour, um, it, perhaps in the winter in particular, but places like this, and you've seen the pictures of this very sheltered small lagoon uh, for boat repairs uh, uh, as well as uh, ongoing just uh, at rest. OK, well, thank you very much for your time and for me being so good-natured as well. Thank you. Thanks very much. Right. Yeah, uh, a nice smile, even if he, I got his name wrong. Yeah, well, let's see if we can get the name right of this bloke. 